Atmospheric pressure, sometimes also called barometric pressure after the sensor, is the pressure within the atmosphere of Earth or that of another planet. The standard atmosphere symbol, ATM, is a unit of pressure defined as 1013.25 millibars 101.325 kilopascals, equivalent to 760 mm of mercury tor, 29.92 inches Hg, or 14.696 psi. The ATM unit is roughly equivalent to the mean sea level atmospheric pressure on Earth. In most circumstances atmospheric pressure is closely approximated by the hydrostatic pressure caused by the weight of air above the measurement point. As elevation increases, there is less overlying atmospheric mass, so that atmospheric pressure decreases with increasing elevation. Pressure measures force per unit area, with SI units of pascals 1 pascal equals 1 newton per square meter, 1 n per square meter. On average, a column of air with a cross-sectional area of 1 square centimeter cm2, measured from mean average sea level to the top of Earth's atmosphere, has a mass of about 1.03 kg and exerts a force or weight of about 10.1 newtons or 2.37 lbf, resulting in a pressure at sea level of about 10.1 n per square centimeter or 101 kilonewtons per square meter 101 kilopascals, kPa. A column of air with a cross-sectional area of 1 in 2 6.45 square centimeters would have a mass of about 6.65 kilograms and a weight of about 65.4 n or 14.7 lbf, resulting in a pressure of 10.1 n per square centimeter or 14.7 lbf, in 2. Mechanism <laughs> <laughs> Equals. Atmospheric pressure is caused by the gravitational attraction of the planet on the atmospheric gases above the surface, and is a function of the mass of the planet, the radius of the surface, and the amount and composition of the gases and their vertical distribution in the atmosphere. It is modified by the planetary rotation and local effects such as wind velocity, density variations due to temperature and variations in composition. Equals. Mean sea level pressure The mean sea level pressure is the average atmospheric pressure at mean sea level. This is the atmospheric pressure normally given in weather reports on radio, television, and newspapers or on the Internet. When barometers in the home are set to match the local weather reports, they measure pressure adjusted to sea level, not the actual local atmospheric pressure. The altimeter setting in aviation is an atmospheric pressure adjustment. Average sea level pressure is 1013.25 millibars, 101.325 kilopascals, 29.921 nhg, 760.00 millimeters of mercury. In aviation, weather reports METAR, QNH is transmitted around the world in millibars or hectopascals, 1 hectopascal equals 1 millibar, except in the United States, Canada, and Colombia where it is reported in inches of mercury, to two decimal places. The United States and Canada also report sea level pressure SLP, which is adjusted to sea level by a different method, in the remarks section, not in the internationally transmitted part of the code, in hectopascals or millibars. However, in Canada's public weather reports, sea level pressure is instead reported in kilopascals. In the U.S. weather code remarks, three digits are all that are transmitted, decimal points and the one or two most significant digits are omitted, 1013.2 millibars 101.32 kilopascals is transmitted as 132, 1000.0 millibars 100.00 kilopascals is transmitted as 000, 998.7 millibars is transmitted as 987, etc. The highest sea level pressure on Earth occurs in Siberia, where the Siberian high often attains a sea level pressure above 1,050 millibars 105 kilopascals, 31 nhg, with record highs close to 1,085 millibars 108.5 kilopascals, 32.0 nhg. The lowest measurable sea level pressure is found at the centers of tropical cyclones and tornadoes, with a record low of 870 millibars, 87 kilopascals, 26 nhg. See atmospheric pressure records. Equals. 
Topic: <laughs> Surface pressure. Equals Surface pressure is the atmospheric pressure at a location on Earth's surface, terrain and oceans. It is directly proportional to the mass of air over that location. For numerical reasons, atmospheric models such as general circulation models GCMs usually predict the nondimensional logarithm of surface pressure. The average value of surface pressure on Earth is 985 hectopascals. This is in contrast to mean sea level pressure, which involves the extrapolation of pressure to sea level for locations above or below sea level. The average pressure at mean sea level MSL in the International Standard Atmosphere ESA is 1013.25 hectopascals or 1 atmosphere ATM or 29.92 inches of mercury. Pressure P, mass M and the acceleration due to gravity G are related by P. Topic <laughs> FA M asterisk G, A, where A is surface area. Atmospheric pressure is thus proportional to the weight per unit or area of the atmospheric mass above that location. <laughs> Altitude variation Pressure on Earth varies with the altitude of the surface, so air pressure on mountains is usually lower than air pressure at sea level. Pressure varies smoothly from the Earth's surface to the top of the mesosphere. Although the pressure changes with the weather, NASA has averaged the conditions for all parts of the Earth year-round. As altitude increases, atmospheric pressure decreases. One can calculate the atmospheric pressure at a given altitude. Temperature and humidity also affect the atmospheric pressure, and it is necessary to know these to compute an accurate figure. The graph at right was developed for a temperature of 15 degrees Celsius and a relative humidity of 0%. At low altitudes above sea level, the pressure decreases by about 1.2 kPa for every 100 meters. For higher altitudes within the troposphere, the following equation the barometric formula relates atmospheric pressure P to altitude H P equals P 0 1 Minus L H T zero G M R zero L approximately equals P zero one minus G H CPT zero CPM R zero approximately equals P zero EXP minus GHMT zero R zero display style begin aligned P and equals P underscore zero CDOT left one FRAC L CDOT H T underscore zero right carrot FRAC G CDOT M R underscore zero CDOT L and approximately P underscore zero CDOT left one F FRAC G C D O T H C underscore text P C D O T T underscore zero right carrot FRAC C underscore text P C D O T M R underscore zero approximately P underscore zero C D O T E X P left FRAC G C D O T H C D O T M T underscore zero C D O T R underscore zero right end aligned where the constant parameters are as described below. Topic. Local variation Atmospheric pressure varies widely on Earth, and these changes are important in studying weather and climate. See pressure system for the effects of air pressure variations on weather. Atmospheric pressure shows a diurnal or semidiurnal twice daily cycle caused by global atmospheric tides. This effect is strongest in tropical zones, with an amplitude of a few millibars, and almost zero in polar areas. These variations have two superimposed cycles, a circadian 24 hours cycle and semi-circadian cycle. <laughs> Records 
The highest adjusted to sea level barometric pressure ever recorded on Earth above 750 meters was 1,084.8 hPa measured in Tosensengel, Mongolia on 19 December 2001. The highest adjusted to sea level barometric pressure ever recorded below 750 meters was at Agata in Ivank Autonomous Okrug, Russia, 66 degrees 53 N, 93 degrees 28 E, elevation 261 meters 856 feet on the 31st of December 1968 of 1,083.8 hectopascals, 32.005 nhg. The discrimination is due to the problematic assumptions assuming a standard lapse rate associated with reduction of sea level from high elevations. The Dead Sea, the lowest place on Earth at 430 meters, 1410 feet below sea level, has a correspondingly high typical atmospheric pressure of 1065 hectopascals. The lowest non-tornadic atmospheric pressure ever measured was 870 hectopascals, 0.858 atmospheres, 25.69 NHG, set on 12 October 1979, during typhoon tip in the western Pacific Ocean. The measurement was based on an instrumental observation made from a reconnaissance aircraft. <laughs> <laughs> measurement based on depth of water One atmosphere 101.325 kilopascals or 14.7 psi is also the pressure caused by the weight of a column of fresh water of approximately 10.3 meters 33.8 feet. Thus, a diver 10.3 meters underwater experiences a pressure of about two atmospheres one atmosphere of air plus one atmosphere of water. Conversely, 10.3 meters is the maximum height to which water can be raised using suction under standard atmospheric conditions. Low pressures such as natural gas lines are sometimes specified in inches of water, typically written as W, C, water column gauge or W, G, inches water gauge. A typical gas using residential appliance in the U.S. is rated for a maximum of 14 W, G, which is approximately 1,048.37 hectopascals. Similar metric units with a wide variety of names and notation based on millimeters, centimeters or meters are now less commonly used. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Boiling point of water. Pure water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit at Earth's standard atmospheric pressure. The boiling point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure around the water. Because of this, the boiling point of water is lower at lower pressure and higher at higher pressure. Cooking at high elevations, therefore, requires adjustments to recipes or pressure cooking. A rough approximation of elevation can be obtained by measuring the temperature at which water boils. In the mid 19th century, this method was used by explorers. Topic. Measurement and maps An important application of the knowledge that atmospheric pressure varies directly with altitude was in determining the height of hills and mountains thanks to the availability of reliable pressure measurement devices. While in 1774, Maskelyne was confirming Newton's theory of gravitation at an on Shehalyan in Scotland using plumb bob deviation to show the effect of gravity and accurately measure elevation, William Roy using barometric pressure was able to confirm his height determinations, the agreement being to within 1 metre This method became and continues to be useful for survey work and map making. This early application of science gave people insight into how science could easily be put to practical use. See also